What's up everyone, Mark Shinoki, big us. Guys, I'm super excited to do a voiceover on my very first fight in a black belt. That was in 2015 at the Europeans. So that was very exciting because it was my first fight in a black belt and we never forget. And luckily I was be able to get out of the fight with the win and even better, submit my first opponent that was I was very exciting and I wanted to show you guys, I want to share with you guys uh, what's my goal into the fight, what kind of grip that I'm looking for, what that grip does, uh, what benefits of that kind of grips and, and what the person, what's my opponent is looking for and take a, a take a, a close look into my fight, into my connections. So it's something new that I've never done before, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, my goal here is to show you guys uh, some cool details, you know, maybe there is one person there that's always looking for the same idea as me or maybe uh, something different, you know, but if I'm helping one of you guys, I'm more happy because my goal here is to show you guys some cool details out there. So I hope you guys enjoying this video, okay, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, Mark Tunoco BJJ. So there's a lot of cool details, a lot of good uh, videos for you guys, um, a lot of unique details uh, that maybe you guys never saw before. So make sure you take a look and share with your friends. Feel free to send me a message, okay? I'll do my best to answer all of you guys. So thank you so much, big O's. The referee started the mat, and, and I'm always looking to the to get the collar grip so I can pull guard right away. So I'm gonna initiate with my left, and then approach right away to the close guard. And my next step when I pull guard is control both sleeves. So he picked me up. I have one sleeves, and I was looking for my second sleeves so I could start playing in my attacks, my sweeps. And then he dropped me down. He kept good high posture. So I really manage my both sleeves, try to push and pull him, get a little bit of the feeling at the beginning of the fight is very tense. So I was trying to see which direction he was dragging me. So he kept high posture. I kept my foot on his hip, trying to take him off balance. And then he keep going up to standing up to try open my, my guard. So I got on a point and said, okay, I'm gonna let him stand up. So I'm gonna keep my guard open. So whenever he bring me down, I'm gonna try uh, working on my attacks, okay? So he put up and then I open my guard. And then from there, from there he kept his foot up. So okay, I'm gonna put my lasso into the De La Riva. So I use my De La Riva lasso and I'll be able to swap him right there. And then I went to the arm right away, but it was too early. So he managed to come up and then I kept my sleeves. So this time I put the lasso between the legs and then I would be able to, I was be able to come up and get the points right there. So I look at the time, so okay, it's really early. But I'm gonna come up and try swing for his arm right away. I'm not gonna hang out in the front of the guard. And then that's what I did. I came up, established the point, and then disengage walking backwards. And then I shoot to the arm bar, keeping the sleeves. And it's a really good attack. It's, I was uh, uh, I was drilling that attack all the time after class, and I was be able to get in the tournament. It made me so happy for my first fight in the black belt. So it was really good. I was very nervous, but I was prepared for, for that moment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover. I'm gonna try to do more so you guys understand a little bit more of the connections of what's happening on the fight. So I really appreciate it. Make sure guys you subscribe to my channel, Mark Chinoco BJJ. So big us, subscribe and share with your friends. And I really appreciate your guys' support. Thank you so much.